I'm gonna pit and quarter some dates. I'm gonna lightly oil my knife so that it doesn't stick to them. That's too much. <laughs> so I'm, all I'm gonna do after I'm done uh, seeding them and cutting them, I'm gonna put them in this pot. So here's the deal with this. The dates that I'm using are nice and moist. They're, they're not dry. So I am gonna go ahead and start simmering them. If the dates you're using are very dry, you're going to have to soak them first for about 30 minutes in really hot water before you simmer them. Once you soak them, you rinse them, you know, get rid of that water, put them in your pot, and then do what we're gonna start doing here. So I'm simply going to cover this with filtered water. Don't overdo the water. Just make sure that all the dates are covered, okay? I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and then I'm going to lower the heat, and I'm gonna simmer these for at least an hour. Make sure you don't burn it. Just check it once in a while, and if you need to, you can stir it, but very low heat, an hour. Make sure you're simmering on low heat, guys, so that it doesn't dry up. You don't want that liquid to to disappear, your dates will burn, okay? This has been simmering for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna add a little more water because some of it has dried up. Just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't dry up so it doesn't burn, but don't exaggerate with the water, okay? All right, guys, this is ready. It's, it's simmered for an hour. Uh, now we're going to strain it through cheesecloth. You might want to let this cool down a bit so that you can actually squeeze the dates, okay? So simply squeeze out the liquid from the dates, guys. All right, I'm gonna do that with everything that's in the pot. Do not throw away the dates. You can use them for cereal bars, for desserts. You know, it's like a paste now that you have inside the cheesecloth. Don't throw it out. Here's our liquid, guys. Here's our paste. So rinse out the little pot that you used and put the syrup back in. We're gonna boil this on medium low heat and reduce it. This is gonna take about 10 minutes, guys. 10, 11 minutes. But we really have to be careful that it doesn't burn, okay? What we're doing is thickening our syrup, guys. And also, the longer that we reduce it, the darker it's going to be. So that's kind of up to you. Um, I'm gonna do it about 10 minutes. Really what we want is to bring it to a boil and then reduce it to a medium low heat, okay? See how this is now a syrup, it's dark. It's gonna thicken as it cools down as well. I'm going to pour this into a jar. Make sure your jar takes heat, okay? Look at that. I'm gonna let this cool down and keep it in the refrigerator. As I told you, it's gonna get thicker as it cools down as well. Uh, we're gonna make some gluten-free cookies with this um, in the next video. But you can use this for anything. It is not calorie-free, guys, of course, but it is a lot healthier than processed sugar. So use some for sweetening your teas or your smoothies or whatever, but in moderation, okay? Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you soon.